I graduated from here a while ago, class of 71. Class of 59 was the first class. So I was in the 13th class and uh, I graduated number 13 in the 13th class. So that was a rather different start. Ended up being 13 was a pretty lucky number for me uh, throughout my career. But I was an astronautics major then. Uh, I got to go to Purdue University immediately after graduation from here and got my master's degree in aeronautical and astronautical engineering in seven months. I spent a year in pilot training in Alabama. After graduation from pilot training, stayed in the Air Training Command as an instructor pilot, and then had my first non-flying job uh, launching satellites uh, down at Cape Canaveral, launching satellites on expendable launch vehicles uh, for the Air Force, the military satellites, and did that for four years. And then NASA started this thing called the Space Shuttle Program. And they had this crew position called Mission Specialist and another crew position called Payload Specialist. Uh, and those two jobs were dedicated to what the orbiter, what the space shuttle would do uh, while it was on orbit. And so uh, it was no longer simply three Apollo astronauts going to the moon. Uh, so that was an expansion of what NASA had historically done. And so I applied a few times to fly in those new positions, got rejected once, and then finally got accepted. One mission, one flight, 48 uh, trips around the Earth, and then a very successful flight. We were uh, the first military mission for NASA. Uh, back in those days, about a third of uh, NASA's entire annual launches were going to be military flights, deploying satellites like global positioning satellites, early warning satellites, communication satellites that the Air Force has. Well, my job besides flying in space, I ended up going back into the Pentagon, for instance, and managing the budgets and the program objectives for military technology programs. Eventually, I got broader and broader responsibilities in successive jobs that I ended up being uh, Undersecretary of the Air Force for space programs. And so uh, how astronautics, more specifically spacecraft and launch vehicles and Eastern Test Range and Western Test Range, how all that fits into the, the larger Air Force is what I can bring to uh, these uh, cadets here, whether they're astronautics majors or any other major. I like to use the term that we put the cadets in a cauldron and we bake in leadership and hard lessons that sometimes you can only learn through experience. We put the uh, cadets into leadership roles where they first have to learn how to follow and then they can learn how to lead other cadets inside their uh, squadrons, how they can lead other cadets on design teams in the academic world, in the academic side of the academy. We're always emphasizing competition. Competition in the classroom, competition on the intramural field between the squadrons, competition even in academic papers where we will encourage the uh, the most talented cadets to do independent research, write up papers that they then must present at technical conferences uh, all over. And so that's, that's one way to really emphasize leadership and confidence building and, and how to become a leader in the Air Force once they graduate. And a good thing to know is how to lose, how to rebound from losing. And so you, we don't expect every team to win everything every time, but as the teams win and lose, the cadets learn how to take victories appropriately and learn how to lose and bounce back from losses. When you have an institution that has high standards, 
for both the faculty and the cadets, then that becomes a habit. As these cadets graduate, it becomes a habit and uh, they know how to succeed while leading a team. They know how to succeed intellectually and that becomes a habit for their entire future. You are accustomed to learning, you're accustomed to succeeding and rebounding from losses and then succeed after a loss. And that can become an ingrained habit where you just don't stop. You become tenacious and you continue to learn and you set your goals and you achieve them.